I am Dr. Nanda Rajnish. I am a consultant laparoscopic surgeon and onco surgeon in Apollo Spectra and Sakara group of hospitals. Peptic perforation is uh, definitely a dangerous situation. Peptic perforation involves perforation of the duodenum, perforation of the stomach. Gastric perforation we call it, hole in the stomach or hole in the duodenum. That means the digestive juices including bile juice and the pancreatic juice they are entering the abdominal wall abdominal cavity and they start digesting the abdominal cavity that means normal tissues will start getting digested as though that is a food so this is a very dangerous situation because if you leave it for more than 12 hours or 20 hours patient might end up in sepsis sepsis means infection and that infection spreading into the blood and it can even cause multiple organ deaths and this leads to death of the individual so this is the reason the earliest intervention and treatment that is available for peptic perforation is surgery itself so how do these patients present so this patient with peptic perforation may have long-standing ulcer symptoms that is abdominal pain post prandial i mean after eating food they may have severe pain uh, in gastric ulcers and they may have relief of pain in duodenal ulcers with such situation suddenly if the individual develops severe excruciating pain in the abdomen which is going down into the abdomen and causing complete distension, abdominal rigidity and guarding of the abdomen then we think it is a perforation of the abdomen and uh, we evaluate these patients to look for gas under the diaphragm and there are many methods of uh, diagnosing these patients and uh, only treatment is surgery. What we do is we normally do open surgery for all peptic perforation but these days when individuals come in early stage we can also close the perforations laparoscopically duodenal perforations can be closed laparoscopically most important step in the surgery is the good wash of the abdominal cavity and the method of uh, stitching of this perforated area the way we stitch it and we also put a drain post surgery for two to three days uh, to make sure even if there is a hole forming again we identify it and it gets localized and uh, that can be treated again later.